say like that was gonna be my thing. Like I said, I've been watching for a long time, and I know like you know you actually I was worse than that to be honest. Like watching you, you has made me better. Like you know more more confident in myself and more like you know I can deal with that kind of stuff more. But um, I feel like it takes a long time too because even in three years of watching you, like I'm still not where I want to be. If that makes any sense, like I'm still you know, not like mentally where I want to be and just stop being so negative. And I wish, and every time something good happens in my life, I'm always like, okay, what's going to happen now? Like I ask, you can ask my wife, like, I don't get excited when good things happen because I automatically think something bro, bad's going to happen right after. Bro, I live with this. My father's got a lot of these similar traits, bro. Holy shit. So <laughs> I understand is, you. Is there any way like I can, you know, like get better at yes. that, you know, like, of course you, you just said you got better the last three years. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I have, like, I feel like I've gotten better at like, stop fearing about what other people think about me. That's like a big thing for me. Like I've gotten way better at that. You know, you see how you've got some, some muscle. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh yeah. I worked out, played football in high school. Yeah. That's how you do this. Yeah. Listening to positivity owning your shortcomings, accept it. You know, the reason I'm talking with such candor here, you know, I'm sure some people are watching like, damn, Gary's like exposing his shit. I'm not doing that. I mean, that I like it. I love it. It's awesome. Cause it's <laughs> empowering when you own your shortcomings. Yeah. I don't want to say that I thought Patrick, I mean, it's a silly one, but I don't want to say that I thought Patrick Mahomes was going to throw too many picks to be a good quarterback. He's gonna, right. He might end up being the best quarterback in football history if he keeps going on this pace. Like, you know, right. like, but, but if you can't own your fucking shortcomings, well, then you can't talk about your strengths. Bro, I actually, you know, what I think is keeping me here with you is my deep belief that you're on your way because it's about awareness. Like the right. fact that you're, you're, the fact that you have the strength to come on here with all these people watching and talk to me like this actually yeah. makes me believe that you're well on your way because I know a lot of people who don't. Yeah. I'm just like trying to like, you know, like it's such a bad thing in my life that like, it's like a mental block for everything I do that it's like, man, I need to stop doing this. Like I, it's like, I realize like I'm so, you know, and like just trying to like, you know, stop you, doing you it. Need, it. You need to realize that you're not bad. You grew up being told you were bad and you believed it. You right. need to realize you're not bad, you're scared. Right. The yeah. second you go right. from I'm a bad guy, I'm a tough guy, I'm a negative guy, to I'm a soft guy, I'm a vulnerable guy, I'm emotionally like not where I need to be guy, all of a sudden, the way you even look at yourself changes and then you could start focusing on building those muscles on right. that. Yeah. You know, do you get this feeling that you don't, you, you get, you cut people off because you don't feel like you get into this place where you feel like they're pulling one off on you and you don't like that. Yes. Feeling. Like I always think somebody has an angle. Every time someone's nice to me, I'm like, okay, what's your angle, dude? Like, what do you want from me? You know what I'm saying? Did, did you feel that way about me the first time you saw the content potentially? Like what's going to be the other shoe? Like, is he going to try to sell me a course or what's the fucking punchline? Uh, actually, or do you not remember? Um, surprisingly, I feel like I didn't just because like, you know, like you were so honest that I feel like you wouldn't be the type to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like you were just being like straight up, like authentic and honest and like, so it just, like, it worked for you. Okay. So it really so I, did. I, I, I think, and maybe that's cause I was remote and through right. a screen instead Possibly. of real life. Possibly. You know, look, I, I think you need to, here's where, here's where I'm trying to get you to go. You need to get into a totally different place with your self-esteem. You need to right. love yourself. That's why the biggest moment of this talk was you're not negative, you're just vulnerable. That was the right. biggest moment. Because when you wake up and you're like, I'm scared today. Right. And, and I need to get less scared today. That is huge, huge compared to waking up and saying, I'm negative. I'm right. a bad guy. That's a game changer, Alexis. That's a game changer. Yeah. It's, it's like hard though. Like I try to, I really, really like, there's a lot of times where I'm like, okay, like just stop thinking like that. You know, like you got this, no, you know, it's, and it's, you have to understand it's ingrained in you. So what you need to do is practice. What do I mean by that? The next, this one friend you've got right now for a year, the first time he does something that doesn't pop off properly, you have to fucking, you have to like email me or DM me or watch this video game. You have to forgive him. Right. Yeah. That's, yeah, not hold grudges. <laughs> Bro, grudges are garbage. Yeah, yeah. Grudges are fucking garbage. Yeah. Grudges 
are the execution of a weak man. Yeah, no, I, I agree a hundred percent. It makes you just, you know, makes your life quality go down when you hold grudges because you can't just hold a is grudge your, against is everyone. Your, is your wife positive? Yes, she's like the complete opposite of me. Yeah, but I mean, like I feel like I try to so put her cliche. down. Though. Like I'm that bad. Of that, course like, you do. I try to bring her. You're not that you bad. Know, You're not that bad, bro. I'm telling you right now, if we change the terminology in your life, shit will get good. You're not that yeah. bad. You're that weak. You're that scared. You're that yeah. soft. I, I totally agree with you, honestly. Like, no, it's big. I want to yeah. change your vernacular because if yeah. you do, you'll be a different man. Yeah. It's that when you're most scared, you try to bring her down to your level. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I do. That's why when you say you talk about like haters, you know, like trying to bring other people down, do I'm you like, find, man, I'm do that you, guy. Do you, like, do, you find, do you find yourself like being jealous if like another guy looks at her like are you trying to like cage her no not like that actually okay. like i'm not like bad like that but i'm bad in the sense of like when she's like trying to be happy for me for something i accomplished or positive or she's You're positive like don't about do something that she... don't do that because i'm gonna something's gonna happen and then i'm gonna yes. let you down and that's gonna make yes you feel, like yeah, that's 100%. my fear to like let my son down let her down like i'm always like in bro, that bro listen to me the only thing that you can do to let them down is by continuing down the path of thinking that you're bad. Right, yeah, no, I, yeah. I can't, I don't want him to grow up like that, you know, like being like me, like I don't want or him to. Don't. But let me tell you, because I've watched this, I've watched this transpire, cause I'm, cause I'm old for 44, I got some real <laughs> fucking emotional wisdom. What's gonna end up happening is if your child or children end up having similar DNA to you, you're gonna feel so bad that you're gonna actually resent them and have like a worse, like you'll have a good relationship with the children that take your wife's DNA and you'll have a bad relationship with the children that take your DNA because it's gonna be painful to you because you're gonna be like, fuck, I passed that on to her or him, so yeah. I'm out. No, you I agree. can't do I, that, you I can't know. do that. Can't. Yeah. Bro, I'm really proud of you. To be at Thank this you. place at this young of an age to be self-aware enough to know what's brewing and to have the courage yeah. to come on here and talk to me about this shit, that's yeah. game changing. You're Thank close. You. You. When I tell you you're close, because the only thing that holds people back is hiding shit. Right, right. And right now you just told tens of thousands of people about your shit.